As I mentioned yesterday, there was yet another mass shooting. In fact, there were shootings happening at the same time as this Tulsa massacre in a medical building. Um, CNN is reporting that an AR-15 style firearm was found on the on the premises of the medical building and that it was purchased a day the day of the shooting. So in the morning, ostensibly, the shooter goes gets their weapon. Also, apparently, the, there was also a handgun found on the scene purchased on May 29th, so just days before. And in the afternoon, does a mass shooting, because that's how it works in America. Here is Mitch McConnell yesterday, though, talking about mass shootings. And he mentions the root causes, in his estimation, of school shootings in particular, notice what he leaves out, obviously. It seems to me there are two broad categories that underscore the problem. Mental illness and school safety. So hopefully we can find a way to come together and make some progress on this horrendous problem, consistent with our Constitution and with our values. Bradley, um, can you pull up all? I uh, know I'm I'm doing the joke. <laughs> Bradley, can you pull up? This is a Sam style joke. All of the times that Mitch McConnell has proposed funding for mental health facilities and healthcare in this country, there's got to be a long list, right? No, uh, not the case. So the if I. I would love to address mental health care in this country. I would love for Medicare for all to include wide access and payments for therapy, mental health care, et cetera. All of these, uh, the, the gaps in, filling all of the gaps in this country where therapy is frankly, for a lot of people, a luxury item. Yeah, unless you're wealthy, you're priced discriminated out of having a therapist. I would love for that to be more widely expanded. So Mitch McConnell, let's work together. Obviously. Medicare for all would do that. Yeah, but does he support Medicare for all? Does he support any bill that promulgates health care in this country, let alone mental uh, health care? And, and, and the reality is that's not the case. What they're going to do is say, oh, it's a crisis of the kinds of things that young kids are consuming, like pornography, like weed, Laura Ingram going on television saying, Wait you know, to hear Weinstein. Oh, I haven't seen that clip yet, so we'll get to that in the fun half. But that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a, 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 a restricting on substances or, I mean, they're not really going to do anything, but that will be the rhetoric. It's all the culture. It's all what's being consumed. Yeah. Um, and just, com but uh, not the thing that's being purchased, which is the industry. guns. Yeah, not, yes. Right. Like they, they always say, like, it's not political in a post Citizens United world where they are taking money from a political lobbying uh, arm of that uh, commodity uh, weapon. And let's be clear Mitch McConnell takes a ton of money from the gun lobby and has benefited greatly from their financial resources in his career. So he mentioned school safety there. I'm not sure if that was before the Tulsa shooting. I think it was. Um, how about hospital safety? I, we need Republican politicians on it today. One door policy for hospitals. Only b buildings can only have one point of entry in general. Let's make every building in this country an, a, a prison, essentially. No windows, one door. And then we can uh, prevent mass. I mean, it's just it's so silly. As they laugh at the idea that we would like retrofit old buildings to be more sort of uh, uh, less carbon intensive. A great, it's such a great point. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's socialism. But this is this is just uh, common sense gun safety. There have been 233 mass shootings in 2022, according to the uh, Gun Violence Archive. That means that we are averaging well over one mass shooting a day right now because june 1st yesterday is the 152nd day of the year 153rd today i mean we had multiple yesterday it's it just um and and the uh, to be clear on the methodology the the gun violence archive 
defines mass shooting uh, as one that kills four or more people, not including the shooter. So I just, yeah. And it ultimately, it has to be, I think, a federal uh, sort of ban on the manufacture and making of this sort of implement. Like te- um, Beto O'Rourke in Texas, you know, you can say like, we don't want these things sold in Texas, but that implies that they're sold somewhere else. And guess what? We don't have hard borders in states. Yeah. That's, w- that's why there's so much gun violence in places like Illinois and stuff like that. <laughs> right. Um, we need to, like, uh, I, like... Like, I, I understand folks who have, like, the old-fashioned Second Amendment, like, should, should be able to have, like, a shotgun and a rifle for hunting and stuff like that. But I, I frankly don't have a problem with massive just, we have to control these manufacturers and tell them, no, you cannot sell this stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can't even make it. Um, if, if, uh, if it's, if we need it for the military, which by the way, we should take a look at those arms controls as well, um, then we'll talk to you. But this is not a consumer product. I said that you mentioned the military. I said this before on the show uh, this week. It is not a surprise that the United States, which is an empire that's bloated and dying, that relies uh, on sustaining its primacy through brunt, bl- uh, brute force and military action, has a bloated military budget and can't provide basic necessities for its citizens that the way since that's the way that the country uh, flexes its muscle and exerts its power that the citizenry on an individual level wraps up their identity in that kind of consumerism um so uh, that's why part of why it's so hard to break is because it's unfortunately incredibly american um, well, I mean, the, yeah, there's a couple things. There's one, it's the, it's a, you know, thing you can use to kill people, but it also is like, it is just a commodity fetish. It is like, uh, like some guys read gun magazines and go on gun forums and talk about just endless different specifications and different types of gun they, guns they might buy in the future. The same way other people go on like guitar forums and look at guitar equipment and stuff yeah. like that, except there's a deeper sickness, uh, when it comes to like, it, it's motivated by fear and hate. Uh, I think ultimately, uh, when you're talking about fetishizing weapons of of war, and it just shouldn't be allowed. That that's something the market just shouldn't be able to provide, be allowed to provide for. And it didn't from '94 to to 2004, and it expired. The assault weapons ban, uh, which did have gaps in it, but it sunsetted, and no one had the courage to, because of the lobbying of the NRA among other groups, to to bring it back up again. That should be the bare minimum. I want an assault weapons ban yesterday, and. I understand that there's a lot of guns already in this country, more guns than people, and it's highly concentrated among collectors and people who fetishize this stuff, as Matt says. But we should offer a very lucrative buyback program um, for these kinds of assault weaponry and any guns for that matter. Doesn't need to be mandated. I'm sure in the end, if this ever happens, the right wing will say mandate. It's just like the vaccine mandate. It's not a mandate. but that can be a way to start. At a certain point, I think you, ex- we talked about this on Left Reckoning, I think you expand something like the Game and Fish Department to be basically the DMV of guns. And uh, mm. they're the ones who are going to shooting ranges, making sure no one's modified. They weapons. already regulate. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, we know that. And, and like, if you've ever been hunting, you've known that wardens will come up to you and check your licenses and stuff like that. So we should have them also go into gun ranges, making sure people aren't modifying weapons in ways that are unsafe. And, uh, yeah, I, I think, like, Trudeau's announced some sort of buyback. I'm not sure the uh, details, but my understanding is he said that um, if you choose to keep your guns, they'll be functionally um, unusable. And, like, I think that is the sort of, uh, like, thing, right? If it, And I ultimately, I don't think you're ever going to be able to go door to door or know right. that um, sort of politically desirable because I think it'd be an absolute disaster. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that, but um, I think you can ban you can ban the manufacture of these things um, entirely. And like it should, it's just like saying that AR-15s have been rolling off the production line all this time since Sandy Hook. It's unbelievable.